for us living on the coast is really a great worry for us. Every, every tide coming in, even if not king tide, but it comes with the wind, then we realize that, you know, it will hit our sea wall, the sea wall will break. Every high tide, it will also bring like panic and, and things like that. We're a very low-lying atoll. We're surrounded by water, but it's obviously salt water. Um, a lot of people rely on wells for their water source. It's much more vulnerable, you know, because the, the land is so small. If you get a high tide coming over, yeah, you then get salt water coming down, polluting that freshwater lens. And just now, Kiribati is under the drought status. Before three or, or almost more than a year, we don't have um, water, so the government is putting up this emergency on water. The water in the wells is becoming more brackish, so it's no longer suitable to, for drinking. Then that then has a knock-on effect to everything else. People aren't able to kind of maintain their sanitation, and then that kind of increases your risk of things like diarrhea and kind of skin infections as well. The changes in the water quality is um, the uh, problems with farming. It's harder to grow vegetables, and that's on top of our already poor soil. The infectious diseases are becoming more common. The outbreaks that we're having, um, diarrhea diseases are also associated with uh, things like um, uh, extreme uh, weather patterns, especially heavy rainy seasons, we get to see a lot of, of diarrhea. We can see the effect of this climate change, and we will try and fight yeah, with the help from overseas. Eh? Our, most of our people here, they love their island eh? and we want to stay in our place, island. Eh? It's a pretty beautiful island.